The Express in Vancouver. I'm Amy Catriona. Most of us at one time or another have taken a ride on a city bus. But after the fare has been paid and the transfer collected, what actually happens behind the wheel? Let's find out. Hey, my name is Larry and I'm an instructor for Coast Mountain Bus Company. I started in 1976 as a bus driver, so you have to have some experience as a bus driver to get the job. And I still miss driving quite a bit, but training is really a lot of fun, a lot of self-satisfaction, training the new operators and seeing them go out on the road. Bus drivers that get along with other people are, the, are, the, are what we're really looking for. The driving skills can be taught, so we can teach them how to drive. It's the people skills that they really need. The absolute best part is when our students graduate on their last day and we're sending them out of the nest to go and drive by themselves. Look at that, what service. <laughs> hi Larry. Perfect, hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well I think I'm ready for some training. No problem. Driven anything bigger than a Honda before? Yes, I drive a 4Runner, so I, oh, I, mean, I drive a relatively large truck. And I have driven an F-150 truck that belonged to my dad. Ooh. And a Ford LTD, an old school one, that belonged to my grandpa with the trailer behind it. Really, eh? Yep, oh, and I was able to back good. up. Oh, that's an awesome start. Yep. It's much like your own car and then it has an accelerator here. It's spring-loaded, so it'll come, you feel like you're pushing down and it's pushing back to you. Oh, okay, so you get so a workout. So it's a little bit different feel, but it's, an, it's, it's a really nice soft brake. The turn signals are not on the steering column as you would have in your car. Nope. They're down here at your left foot. Okay. And we have spring-loaded buttons to push here for your right turn signal and for your left turn signal. And that's so that the operator doesn't have to take his hands off the wheel while they're driving. All our windshield wipers are air-assisted, all the doors and the air brakes. Oh, hence course. all those sounds when you're on the bus. That's right. Shh. Shh. That's right. Shh. Exactly. <laughs> the park brake is over here like you would normally have in your car. So you push it down to apply the bus, the brakes, Break, yep. and you pull it up with your fingers like this here, and you, this is the door handle, yep. and when I point the handle at the door, that's when the door will close. Okay. And you put it in gear. And drive, yeah. Happy it's not a standard. It's not. It's not. It's automatic. You have to remember to put on your seatbelt. Yes, always. All right? Even in the yard here. We'll go hand over hand like this, okay. turning the steering wheel. No hands underneath there. Oh, that's kind None of, of these. That's how I drive. None of these. Huh? All right. Well, I think I'm ready to drive. Cool. Let's go. Okay. Get okay. yourself in the seat and move it forward a bit. Thumbs on top of the wheel. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, and no cool driving. No cool driving. Yep. You need to see about two fingers of the bus. If you put your fingers up there, you can see that. And the right side mirror, over on this side, you should be able to see a little bit of the bus. Mm-hmm. I do. You put it in gear first. In gear. Put it in drive. There we go. There you go. The bus is yours, kiddo. The bus. Oh, but you know what? Oh, whoa. oh the seatbelt. She forgot to put on the seatbelt. No, but I remembered. You Just did. Out of order. Just let it roll a little bit. Let her go. I thought you were going to say let her rip, but no, we don't no, rip. Right? We don't rip. Come on in. Let's go for a ride. Hold on, Rob. <laughs> Wow. They're really quite friendly to drive. It's really smooth. And a nice, nice light touch on the brake. Push, little push, little push, little push on the brake. Keep pushing until you stop. So you do, whoa, sorry, Rob. Hand over hand, not on the bottom, on the okay. top. There you go. No cool driving. Okay. And you're going to line up the curb outside this door out here. And hand, nice and Oh, I can't see oh, the curb. Oh. And we're sort of going to head for that stop sign in front of us there. Okay. Just line up your horn with these little white ducks. I'm on the line. You see, that looks narrow, but you're doing a good job. My heart's beating a mile a minute, mind you. Huh? A little more confidence now, huh? A little huh? more. Yeah. Because I don't have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> you go a little bit faster around the corners now, you see? A little bit more confidence. Easy break. Oh, yeah. Your grandma would have loved that stop. Oh, yeah. And I'm still signaling. <laughs> <laughs> and we are back to where we began. There we go. Good. Shall you we reach over and put on the yellow button over on the side, just push it down. Straight down. And, and you're that's done. it. That's it. Very you cool. You've done a really good job. Thank awesome. you. I know you're not supposed to cross the red line, but in this case, you're okay. Right on. Cool. <laughs> Looks so like what you had think? fun. You had to give me a grade, school grade. For a great way, you're a quick, you are a quick learner, so I don't think you'd have any problem going out on the road. That'd be really fun. Part two. Part two. Maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. You're welcome.
think you'd excel behind the wheel of a city bus? Well, go to coastmountainbus.com for more. For The Express, I'm Erin Sebula. We're back here at John Oliver Secondary School for their production of The Little Shop of Horrors, a story about a mild-mannered man named Seymour who discovers an exotic plant